Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new, my name is Louisa. I am a second year, soon to be third year, medical student at the University of Cambridge. I'm on holiday this week, so I'm gonna take an opportunity to make a video for you. I thought I would review my experience of my last year at Cambridge, my second year. It was quite a lot harder than first year, but also in some ways a lot more fun and the content was kind of more interesting. So I thought I'd review that for you. Hopefully it's a useful video and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get onto it. Okay, so we'll start with the content itself and how it was different from first year. In my first year, I had three main modules and two small ones. And um, one of them was like ethics, one of them was kind of maths and stats. That was quite, those were the two small ones. And then the three main ones were physiology, anatomy, and like biochem. And this year, in contrast, I had kind of like five or six main ones, equally as big as the last three from first year. So there was just more content to start with. And also, I don't know if I'd say harder, but certainly there was more, detail in the content and that meant that when it came to revising there was just so much more to try and learn and we also had like in-person exams this year whereas last year they were online and at home so being in an environment like that for the first time in like four years was quite I don't know daunting we had an exam in March which was quite an important exam our anatomy exam was in March this year rather than at the end of the year so we had less exams at the end if we'd had that as well we just just had like so many exams I think I had 14 exams in total this year two of them being in March, 12 of them being in the summer. Whereas last year I had like nine in the summer and two in March. So I had three more exams this year and they were longer exams. I had more essays to do, more revision to do. So there was just more content. Whilst there was more content, another way that it differed from first year was that it was probably more relevant to medicine. So the biochem bit of first year is quite abstract and a lot of it's to do with cell pathways, things like learning the whole of the respiratory cycle, the Krebs cycle, all of that stuff is quite um, niche and specific. And I'm not sure how realistic it is to require that as part of a medical degree, but it was really interesting to learn. It just was like kind of frustrating when we came to like revision for exams, because if it's not needed, then it's just a lot of work to try and learn it and you kind of think. As much as I love learning this, the fact you're examining me on it and expecting to learn it is quite, frustrating so in second year it was kind of more of that but also less of that there's just more of everything so there's more content that's interesting and relevant but also more content that's kind of irrelevant and a bit like faffy to learn for example we have a module called moda which is mechanisms of drug mechanisms of drug action and that's pharmacology and you have to learn a lot of drug names how they all work what receptors they work on and it's just a lot of detail and then whilst it's really interesting on top of everything else that we already have to learn it's kind of frustrating to have to learn all of that and like a bunch of other stuff so i kind of wish that they cut down the course a little bit but i understand why they teach it to us and it is cambridge so i guess you go in expecting to learn loads something else i found about second year that i really like how it differed from first year was that our supervisors were a bit more relaxed about essays so when it came to like revision for supos and stuff it was a lot more just learn the content and we'll talk through it in the supervision to get your head around it rather than like loads of essays i know it differs from college to college but i did find speaking to other students that we had more essays in first year and less in second year except when it comes to exams you have more essays so i think my advice if i could go back in time and do the year again would be maybe ask for more essays in supervision practice just to prepare for the end of the year another thing that i found was just because in first year we were in the pandemic there was not as much opportunity to do extracurriculars and stuff like that whereas this year we could join in a lot more societies and this year i was the youtube officer for the medic collective which again if you guys are applying to med school i really recommend medic collective you can check out my other video on using their website above i will link it just here i was the captain of the coxes for the college boat club so the trinity hall boat club which meant was organizing socials, organizing the schedules, coxing a crew. So that was quite a high commitment. And I did really struggle with that in the second term. I ended up not actually coxing many outings in that second term. I think I did a couple at the beginning, a couple at the end, just because I had exams that term. So everyone else was working on a different schedule to me. And then like the medics and the vets were just kind of tearing their hair out. I was also part of the committee for a society called Healthy Planet Cambridge. And that just involved a lot of admin and a few meetings, but it wasn't too much work. And actually it was really good fun. And it leads on to kind of what I want to do this year, which is working with the One Health Society. I was also just trying to keep up with all my friends and go out clubbing and like all of the other stuff that normal uni students want to do. I think a key thing that kind of went wrong for me this year and made all that more tricky was that I made the decision a couple, like when I came to uni basically to go vegan and it was all going fine. And then I kind of like forgot to take my supplements or just stopped taking them thinking it was all gonna be fine. And at the end of the first term this year, like Michaelmas term about December, 2021, just really struggled with feeling tired. And I kind of put it down to just the end of term, like everyone's tired at the end of term, but it didn't really get better as the holiday went on. And so I rang the GP, did some blood tests, and they were like, you might be anemic. 
so take your vitamins. So I was doing that, but obviously it takes months to build up iron stock that you've like lost over months. And so the whole of the Lent term, which was really cold and dark anyway and really hard work, was just really difficult. Like I remember watching lectures in my room because all of them were recorded and waking up on the floor, like with my laptop because I'd zoned out in the lecture and like fallen asleep on the floor. So that was quite stressful and definitely not something I want to repeat this year and probably the lowest I've ever reached in terms of like sleep and health and looking after myself, which was kind of another reason I had to put the rowing on hold because it was just too cold and tired to function. Like I'd have my friends messaging me in the middle of the day and they'd be like, she's asleep because she's not replying to her messages. And they were right. Um, and it meant it put me back hours. Like I was losing three to four hours every third day of just sleeping in the middle. Like I'd wake up, do a lecture and then like fall, fall asleep again because I'd be really tired um, and just couldn't function. And then when I woke up again, I still wasn't really like fully awake so I was just spending the whole of eight weeks kind of barely functioning doing the bare minimum to get by and then whilst I covered all the content and I never got behind on lectures it did put me back with revision in the next term because obviously you're meant to revise as you go along and I wasn't doing that so that was kind of annoying and not great and it did put me back the term after that so then I panicked more and then obviously the more anxious I got about being behind the more tired I was so the more behind I got and it was just not good like it was week, weeks before the exam and I was just like not functioning i was just tired all the time then getting worried that i was tired and then that making me more tired and then i was just not functioning and in hindsight a i should have taken my multivitamins but b i probably should have got help sooner i spoke to my tutor about it before exams and they were really good and they actually put some provisions in place for me it meant i got to do my exams in a separate room with a separate invigilator just so that i wasn't worried about what else was going on in the room because i knew that seeing other people would just stress me out more and it wouldn't be helpful so I was lucky that I spoke to my tutor about that and I did get some help. And what I will say is if you're, if you're worried about exams, don't be afraid to speak to your tutor. Hopefully they'll help you and listen to you like mine did. But definitely in the weeks leading up to the exams, it was pretty stressful. I don't want to repeat of that this year. So hopefully things improve. The structure of the exams this year was also a bit more unpleasant than in my first year. So this year, well, in first year we had exams like Monday, Tuesday, day off Wednesday, exams Thursday, Friday, day off Saturday, Sunday, and then exams Monday, Tuesday. This year we had, in the summer, this year we had Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Thursday, Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So quite a lot again, and not many breaks as you can see. So we had afternoon and morning exams. So often exams twice a day and then for like 10 days or whatever and a Saturday exam and the first exam on the Saturday was a Saturday of a bank holiday weekend so the Monday exam was on a bank holiday so I started on Saturday and I had a Monday bank holiday exam so not very nice because obviously none of the rest of the university have that but the medics and the vets don't count but yeah so that was a lot and I did do I did have one night I think it was the Friday exam of that middle week where I had exams Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and on that Friday morning, Thursday night, I did watch the sunrise during revision and that's not a thing I would wish on anyone. Um, don't cram and don't do all-nighters unless you really have to. Try not to really have to do them. And then in terms of trying to balance it with social life, I think my advice would just be, don't be afraid to say no if it gets really hard. You should be friends with people that you feel you can say no to because I also am aware of people who've had to like their social batteries run out and then when their social battery runs out they run out which again isn't ideal. Make sure you're friends with people who understand what you're going through and you can talk to them about your problems and if you don't want to go out don't feel you have to go out. I would say try not to book tickets to clubs like every single day because obviously that's not sensible maybe during freshers you can do it but during term try and plan in advance the events you want to go to like if you want to go to an ab club night do that in advance so we did plan that and i did find that really helpful um and you can leave the club early like we don't think we stayed until the end apart from a couple of nights really good but i think sleep is something i didn't prioritize enough this year i wish i had obviously i needed it because i was falling asleep in the middle of the day and it put me back but that's something you can definitely learn to do and train yourself to do better do exercise, that's another thing I didn't get to do as much of this year as I wish I had, I'm gonna try and do that this year. I did it a lot in first year and I need to do more of it this year. And yeah, speak speak out for help with your tutor and your DOS if you need it. Um, I'll probably make part two to this next week. <laughs>